On behalf of Joey and Allie, I thank everyone who helped make this a special day for them. We are thrilled to know that Joey and Allie have found each other and that you are here to share this special day with them. Since the dawn of time, men and women have left their families to go out and find that special soul with whom to spend forever. Who gives this woman a way to be married? We do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Weddings are a public expression of feelings and commitment that run deeper than friendship, than family, than the cosmos themselves. <laughs> Now, Joey and Allie have been pretty much inseparable since their first date, which came about thanks to their dogs, <laughs> Oi and Nala. Now, it's a shame that Oi and Nala couldn't be here today. Oi would have hung out at the party with the cool kids and charmed the pretty ladies and checked out all the food, but Nala would have run around like a crazy person. In any case, they are here in spirit <laughs> and waiting impatiently for you to come home. It's no surprise that their dogs brought Joey and Allie together. Living in the same apartment complex, dog owners tend to notice each other when they were out walking. And Joey noticed Allie. I mean, how can you not? Nala's a pretty girl. Allie's not so much. <laughs> Joey would see the two walking around the complex, and after a while, he finally mustered up the gumption to talk to Allie. And after getting to know each other, they went on a hike at Umstead Park, then brunch, then frozen yogurt, <laughs> then the grocery store. It was a day-long date, and since then, they've always been together. Allie said it was like spending time with someone she had known all her life. And that's how marriage should be. It should feel natural, with no doubt about the partnership. Allie and Joey are inseparable. As it is written in the book of Ruth, do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Wherever you die, I will die, and there be buried. May the Lord do so, and so to me, and more besides, if all but death separates me from you. You ready to give your vows? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Shall I take the ring? Place it on Alice's finger. Go ahead and read your vows to her. Allie, my God, you are beautiful. I wake up each day and I feel like my life is brighter because you are in it. You're an amazing woman and you love me. Every time I stop to think about that, it absolutely floors me. I feel like I've won life because you were with me. You're my best friend. No matter how much I love you, there aren't any cliches that cover it. I feel a deep certainty in my core that tells me you are my one and only. Today you become my wife, and I promise to pay back ten times over for the rest of my life all the love and kindness that you showed me every moment we were together. I promise to love you forever and make our shared lives an adventure, to lift you up in celebration of each victory, and hold you close when you are hurt. I promise these and everything else I feel that I cannot find the words to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take the ring, place it on Joey's finger. So I'm going to have to Joey, for the rest of our very, very long life, I promise to love you with all of my heart, honor you with all of my actions, and treasure the honest, kind, and wonderful person that you are. I promise not to take advantage of your never ending patience, to keep our love a priority, and to remember what's really important. I promise to dream of you. 
celebrate with you and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. And wherever we go, I promise to be there, holding your hand and telling you I love you. I promise to continue having fun because I really feel that our entire relationship with the two five-year-olds playing in the sandbox, <laughs> unaware of the world and enjoying each other. And it's really the best we know. You're my best friend, cop dog, lover, dog co-parent, <laughs> and you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Let's get really, really, really old together. You, of course, getting really, really, really old. <laughs> Friends, marriage cannot live in a vacuum. It must be protected and nurtured, and that's where all you come in. After all, we are here to help each other get through this thing called life, whatever it is. So, I ask you now, will you uplift Allie and Joey? Will you advise them wisely and support their decisions? Will you celebrate their joys with them and comfort them through hard times? If so, please say we will. We will. We will. We will. <laughs> and now, Joey and Allie, you head out into this big iron world together. I challenge you, find and follow the best paths of your shared lives. Cling to each other through hard times. And above all else, keep that timeless love at the center of your marriage. And now may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. The sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall softly upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. I wish you a hundred years together. I wish you happiness. But most of all, I wish you love. Thank you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Mr. Nix, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Now you got a married daughter. Hey, how's it feel? Feels great. Oh, wonderful. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Hey, Barbara, wonderful. It was. It was it's very great. nice. Great, terrific. May they be happy in a hundred years. I, I go that for would that. That nice. Oh, excuse me. Chrissy.